Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Rubber Bet, and welcome back to the podcast. Podcasts are back, uh, and today we are talking about a, a topic I wanted to wait to talk about uh, for a little bit. I was actually really scared to talk about it, or I was actually scared to watch it at all. Uh, yes, I'm talking about the Justice League official Comic Con trailer, 2017 Ben Affleck movie. I was really kind of scared to watch this trailer, and I watched it, and now I'm ready to talk about it. And of course, I'm joined with the comedic gamer, what's going on? Dude. Oh, good, and it's the insane grenade now. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. The insane grenade. So be sure to check out his channel. I will leave it in a link and an annotation in the video. Uh, let's get into this. So, my first reaction to this trailer is that this movie looks terrible. This movie looks so bad. Oh my god, I didn't think that they could top freaking. Uh, Batman v Superman, Batman but Superman. God, like I am just so scared right now for the DC universe. And you know what? I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that enjoyed it, but as for me, I just, oh, I just, I've seen the same patterns I saw in Batman v Superman, and it's just not looking good. I mean, the opening of this trailer is just so funny. I mean, if you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it. But it. <laughs> If you have, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, Bruce Wayne is in like a freaking fishing village and he, Aquaman's got his back to him. He's like, there's a stranger who comes to this village in the winter where people are hungry. He comes out of King's Tide. <laughs> I love the way he says King's Tide. He's like, he comes out, King's he comes out of King's Tide. That was last night. Bum, bum, bum. The way he said like that was last night, it reminded me of like when they got the emails in the original movie, and it's like, it's like it was you, like in the email, <laughs> like that's what it reminds me of. And then Aquaman turns <laughs> around, and he's like, talk, and then it starts playing this freaking music. It's like, bam, 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 bam. But, and you know what? <laughs> you know what's really funny is Steppenwolf has been confirmed as the villain of this movie. <laughs> so I'm like wondering, hmm, did Steppenwolf write the music of this? No, okay, I know, I know who Steppenwolf is in DC. I just, I had to get that in there. <laughs> He's like, movie good, best, making a movie, gonna be the villain, go maybe kill Wonder Woman. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, is Stephen Wolf gonna kill Wonder Woman? Because we know he does in the comics. That's actually on a more serious note. That's one of the only serious things they're probably gonna have to say about this trailer. And Stephen Wolf himself looks like they, like, they, they just show a box that's being, like, I think it's either being buried or uncovered by some knights or Vikings. I'm not sure which. And, uh, if Stephen Wolf's in there, like, I, like, did they just shove him in the box? Like, get in there, Steve. You'll get him to fit in there. Yeah, get the rest of the band to fit in there, too. Give us some of your first. Your first impressions, your first thoughts. Uh, well, the thing I kind of was questioning is when they first show Cyborg in the movie, like, you know, he's just walking around in his jersey while his, like, varsity vest and, uh, just looking like a normal teenage high schooler, I guess. And then it pans over at around the end of the trailer and he's, like, all decked out in his cyborg suit and all and it's like usually cyborg is you know with that permanently from what i know and like now it's like he can do this whole iron man thing yeah it's just like i mean who knows maybe it's him pre-op but like i don't know like maybe it's just a memory but if he can like turn on and off i, I mean that's that's not gonna be the worst thing about this movie and that's actually kind of cool for cyborg because it kind of sucks to be cyborg it's like eh. I look like half robot, you know. Hey, ladies, what's going oh, on? Yeah. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> so. You know, I mean, I I could live with that. I could dig that. I did it. They do this scene where they show Aquaman drinking a beer to the music that they're playing, and yeah. like, oh my, do, 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 do. it's like, -na -na -na. and he's just like drink, like he's like all these waves going around him. And it's like, Coors Light, the only beer for Aquaman. Ah, oh, so refreshing, just like the salty breeze of the ocean. Like, oh, no, but actually, like, they may, I didn't show what kind of beer it is, but I'm sure it's it's a big hit at product placement, but they, they kind of are giving him, like, this, like, I'm Aquaman, and I never asked for these powers, like, type thing. He's, like, brooding or something. He's, like, no one understands me. I'm Aquaman. It's, like, you know, as far as I knew, Aquaman was the king of the sea, and, like, why is he coming up to feed villagers? I don't know. I'm sure all of that will be 
answered in the movie and i'm <laughs> gonna give little i'm, I'm just not even gonna care <laughs> yeah like how's he convinced the fish to get consumed like hey these guys are hungry <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, plus that scene, it just looks ridiculous. I mean, it's a like, <sighs> nice cool beer for Aquaman. So let's go ahead and go over to the Flash. So the Flash enters. Well, first, you know, it, it, he has like this apartment set up with all these computers in it. And then Bruce Wayne's in there. And he's like, uh, Bruce Wayne, you must be, you know, Barry Allen. And he's like, that doesn't explain why he's sitting in my second favorite chair or something. It's like, but don't, don't, shh. And after that, it's just like, hey, hey, hit at the audience. Hey, hit at the audience. Hey, look, that's funny. Funny joke. Funny joke. Funny joke. And I'm just like, oh, my God, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Uh, and obviously, they've gone with a different actor than the TV show, which, I mean, I can see why. And I don't agree with why. But the reason why is because they want to rush everything and cram everything in this universe. They don't want to have stuff that's already pre-established because they would have basically the Flash and Green Arrow, if they decide to put him in Justice League, already pre-established. And then you would go over to big characters like Batman and Superman who haven't really had as much established for them. Even in, you know, the, the last two movies, just... We still don't know a whole lot about those characters. We haven't seen them. Seriously, like, they killed Superman off before he even had a chance, like, to really, for us to really get into his character. I don't know, man. I mean, what, what do you think about this new Flash? Um, I think he's all right. I mean, I'm not crazy about him, but I like how they're going to make the Flash kind of a, a, a witty, smart, kind of like a Spider-Man kind of humor to him. Um, cause, uh, because that's what the Flash is, he's kind of like a, you know, smart out like kind of Yeah, character. but you know what, that's kind of what scared me, because <clears throat> this scene, it almost reminds me of when Tony Stark comes to the apartment to pick up Spider-Man. Like, it almost looks like they're knocking that off, like, 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 scene for scene. And it's, it's, but it's oh, yeah. coming off cheesy and corny and not as well written and almost True, every line yeah. ben affleck has in this trailer just makes me want to die like it's so bad <laughs> it's God, so <laughs> but you know ezra miller uh the, the new flash uh taking the place of grant gusting who obviously uh plays him on on the tv show uh he has some optimistic views for the movie he's quoted as saying you needn't look any further than, su than the Suicide Squad director and Cast's response to the negative reviews to feel how negative cr uh, critiques motivate us. So basically, you know, he's feeling like, you know, all the negativity is going to motivate them to make a greater movie and that whatever the critics say, you don't have to listen to that. And uh, <laughs> I might have to disagree with them a little bit, but, uh, you know, maybe that's just my personal thing, but I feel like critics get paid to watch these movies. <laughs> While I don't think Suicide Squad was as terrible as the critics made it out to be, you know, there was definitely some flaws with that movie. And I've never gone to see a movie that was completely like, oh my god, this is so incredible, you know what I mean? Like, usually critics have at least some sort of solid footing to stand. I just, I really, I really didn't like the dialogue in this scene. I, I just felt like it was like, but don't, don't, shh. You know, just, it, it was just too much and he's like and then and then bat it, uh bruce starts to talk about i'm putting together a team because i think something terrible is coming and it's like dude like i didn't understand this at the end of batman v superman what how do you know and what like what terrible is coming it's just because they're rushing everything they're like we have to do this all in one movie <laughs> we have to make ridiculous reasons for him to go find freaking aquaman in a fishing village and go find the Flash and be like, there's something terrible coming, even though I have no freaking clue what it is. But And then it's like, oh, don't worry, Batman, because you're right. There is a bad guy in this movie. <laughs> like, it's just so ridiculous. And then, of course, the Flash's response is, oh, no, no, I'm in. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, you know, I, we just wanted to have this quick uh, joke moment. And, um, you know, I just, I, 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 I know that, you know, we can't have all this time to convince me to join the team because we have to do this all in one movie. So, yeah, I'm in. It's like, <laughs> okay. Here's some other big problems I have with this scene. The Flash walks in and he's like, uh, so what are you doing here? And his Flash costume is sitting out. It's like, hmm. I wonder what he could be doing here. And then... Ben Affleck just reveals he's Batman by throwing a batarang at him. One, what if he was wrong? Just saying. This is like the Flash's roommate. Because he confirms. He's like, he he's like, hmm, you're Barry Allen, right? 
Because he has so he throws it, he's like, it like, he like hits him in the head, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, oh, okay, I really thought you were, I mean, and you know what, this Batman might not even care that much, because he's killing fo the fools left to right, just be like, bam, oh well, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. uh, it's a good thing, hey, Alfred, we have to get rid of another kid's body, like, <laughs> but then he just, like, reveals that he's Batman to somebody he doesn't even know yet. And yeah, y'all will probably be like, oh, well, Batman does his homework still. Like, no. Like, he needs, I feel like he would need to build up some trust. Like I said, man, them just rushing through, it's just like, we've we've only had four DC movies. Yeah, five if you want to count Wonder Woman, which we haven't even seen yet. And we're already at Justice League, and it's just so crazy that everything's moving this fast. It just, it's just insane. It's mostly because they're trying to catch up with Marvel. I mean, Marvel has took taken over superhero movie scene. I mean, think about it. DC hasn't had a good movie since The Dark Knight. I mean, The Dark Knight Rises was okay, uh, but I mean, the best of them all was really The Dark Knight with Keith Ledger as Joker. Right, but rushing out the gates the way to do that? I mean... I think what DC has going for them is TV shows and like such as Arrow, Flash, Supergirl. You know, they're, they're doing well in the TV show aspect, but when it comes to movies, they're flopping left and right or just not bringing great quality in the movies. They, I mean, when you when you cram this stuff, much stuff into a movie, there's no way to have good quality. It's just gonna be so <laughs> bad. I, that's probably why they succeed with TV shows. They have time to develop characters, you know? And you know what? If they played the long game, they might even outlast Marvel because eventually they get to the point where Marvel is and Marvel would probably be past their prime because people like Robert Downey Jr. and stuff are gonna start getting older and be like, I don't wanna do this anymore. And then they're gonna do recasts and of certain characters and that might not go over well and to what they're doing to, oh we gotta catch up it's just it's just not working oh yeah and Marvel already has like 10 more movies already set up for the future and it's, it's not just like... Ben Affleck's lines it's like half the faces he makes in, in this trailer I just can't take the guy seriously I can't do it I just can't it's oh, just yeah. it's so bad he's like he's like <laughs> so you're fast <laughs> So you're fast. <laughs> it's like, I don't think Batman would really be I cocky <laughs> like that. Or... No, well, it's not just that. It's just, oh, I just, the way he says the lines, it makes my head hurt. <laughs> I believe enemies are coming. Oh, yeah. Why do you believe enemies are coming? Why? We need, <laughs> we need to set up a team of warriors. Like, it's ridiculous. And then, of course, at the end, they have that little Easter egg. I heard you could talk to fish. I heard you could talk oh, to fish. <laughs> Oh my god. I still and, don't know uh, if he's Aquaman though. I need to make sure. Freaking Cal Drogo as as uh, Aquaman. I mean, I, I really still don't know how I feel about that. And I'm sorry, but did we forget that both the Flash and Aquaman have blonde hair? Like if I had blonde hair, I'd be offended. I'm like, seriously, there's not that many there's not that many superheroes with blonde hair and you're taking them all away from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like like seriously, like why does everybody have dark hair? Everybody, all superheroes in DC right now have, have dark hair. I'm really not crazy about the Flash. I wish he was a little bit older and, you know, this is going to be the first Flash in a movie. So I honestly, I wish that they would have just taken things slower so they could have used the guy from the TV show. They would have had all this stuff already done and people love that actor. Wonder Woman, like I said, the, the, mo the, the trailer I saw for Wonder Woman, it, it actually looks pretty decent, which also makes me really depressed for this because I'm like... You know, Wonder Woman looks like it could be really good, and then we get to this, and I'm like, here we go again. Here we freaking go again. <laughs> Zack Snyder's <laughs> jerk. Justice League is going to be Zack Snyder's last movie that he's going to be directing, because basically uh, DC's like, oh, uh, well, you know what, Zack, we're going in a different direction, but he is like, I, in my opi honest opinion, I think he's kicking them in the butt on the way out. He's like, Justice League, that's how I'm going to get you. There's also going to be a Shazam movie released the same cinematic universe. And the first headline of the story I read says Zack Snyder not involved. Oh, thank God. You know, Shazam is an awesome character and I would really like to see that done well. I'm just afraid from all these failures that they're going to, they're going to kind of give up on it. Like the, like the, the studio gave up on uh, Superman Lives back in 1997. Granted, that was, you know, that movie was going to be kind of sketchy having uh, Nick Cage as, as Superman. But I mean, oh, you never know. It might've been good. And... I, I don't know. Guys, I, I, I do want to say I could be way off base here. You know, this could just be the trailer and my take of it. And then we go into the movie, and this movie's great. 
and Zack Snyder completely redeems himself. But as it stands right now, it just looks like more Batman v Superman crap. And I, I, I am just so worried about this. I mean, what's what's your closing thoughts on this? This whole movie or trailer, I should say, does make you cringe. And it's like with the bad cliches and and all. It's just. I'm not really looking forward to this movie, especially since Zack Snyder's behind it. So that's my closing thoughts. Anyway, guys, I want to hear what you think about this in the comment box below. So please hit us up in the comment box. Anything you want to talk about. Uh, if you like the trailer, if you dislike the trailer, what do you think of the Shazam movie? What do you think of Zack Snyder? What do you think of anything? Just talk about it. Let us know in the comment box below. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Insane Grenade's channel. I'm going to be leaving it in a link in the description box below. And, of course, if you liked the video today, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. Whenever you subscribe to me or to uh, my friend here, the Insane Grenade, it really does help us out. It gets us one step closer to that dream of uh, uh, doing YouTube for a living. And as always, guys, stay awesome. Keep those Punisher hats on. And I'll see you later. Stay epic, gamers. Thank <laughs> you.